Hello, as you can see, we've relocated from the Curator's workroom to the historic Schlegel Milk House. Herman and Augusta Schlegel Milk made it a priority to mesh their German upbringing and traditions with their American lifestyle. They also encouraged their family to appreciate experiences like traveling, education, and attending cultural events over materialism. They were a frugal family, but they spent money on quality. Svald Olsen Lund was born in Norway in 1852. In 1865, his parents decided to emigrate to America, and they settled on a farm in Dunn County. When Lund was an adult, he began painting to supplement his farm income. Later in life, he painted houses and carriages. Lund never had formal art training, but he did apprentice under a German artist, Jacob Miller, who also lived in Dunn County. Miller had been credentialed by the Royal Academy in Munich. At some point, Lund met Hermann and Augusta. They invested in a few of his paintings in 1894, and we have a couple of them in the house. Later generations of family members always treasured these paintings of simpler times. In 2014, Lund's great-grandson, Bob Litton, who aspired also to being a part-time painter, wrote a blog about his relative. Litton discussed him with local art gallery owner, Ms. Hibbard. She told Bob that Lund painted for his own enjoyment, but also with an eye to the desires and interests of the prospective owner. It's therefore not surprising he's difficult to describe stylistically. His repetition of motifs in flat schematic manner gave them something of a primitive flavor, but he also showed an acquaintance with academic techniques like modeling, perspective, balance and composition, coordinated color, and the ability to portray atmospheric light effects. Although I'm still researching the relationship between the two families, there are photos of the Bartlin kids with the Lund kids. Spalding and his family lived on Garfield Street in Eau Claire, so I'm assuming the two families continued to act for several generations. These tranquil works of art take us back to another time, reminding us of two families who left their homeland for a better life in a new country, where they forged relationships with new friends who understood the conflict of missing what they left behind while appreciating where they journeyed to.